Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Hydrocarbons. What is a hydrocarbon? Hydrocarbons are naturally occurring compounds. They form the basis of crude oil, natural gas, coal and other important energy sources. As we said, hydrocarbons are compounds. A compound is a chemical made up of two or more different atoms that are bonded together. Bonded meaning joined together. Look at the word hydrocarbon. If we cut the word up, we can make two words, hydro and carbon. Hydro refers to the hydrogen atoms, carbon refers to the carbon atoms. So a hydrocarbon is a compound made up of hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms that are bonded together. How can we build a hydrocarbon? If we look at the periodic table of the elements, we can find hydrogen in the top left corner and carbon the fourth one along on the second row, or period. Hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table, in the first period. In the first period are two elements. To be stable, the element in that period needs to be built like the second element, which means that hydrogen needs one more thing, an electron, to make it stable. So hydrogen, with the symbol capital H, can be shown as a white ball. To be stable, hydrogen needs one more. So let's say the hydrogen needs one more friend, and so has a hand trying to hold on to that friend. Carbon is the sixth element in the periodic table. Carbon is in the second period, this holding eight elements. Carbon is the fourth element in that second period, so it means that carbon has four gaps to fill to try and be stable. So carbon, with the symbol capital C, can be shown as a black ball. To be stable, carbon needs four more. So let's say that carbon needs four more friends, and so has four hands trying to hold on to four other friends. So hydrogen needs one friend, and carbon needs four friends. How can we use this info to build a hydrocarbon? An easier way to understand how to build a hydrocarbon compound is to think of a jigsaw. Let's pretend carbon is one type of jigsaw piece. This jigsaw piece can join with four other jigsaw pieces. Let's also pretend that hydrogen is another type of jigsaw piece. This jigsaw piece can join with only one other jigsaw piece. If we start with one carbon jigsaw piece, we can add one hydrogen jigsaw piece. That makes the hydrogen stable. But the carbon is not yet stable, as it has three more gaps. So if we add three more hydrogen jigsaw pieces, we make the carbon stable, as there are four hydrogen jigsaw pieces. Wow! We can also model this with carbon being a black ball. We know that carbon needs four friends, so let's pretend that carbon has one, two, three, four hands that it can use to hold on to other atoms with. We can also model hydrogen as being a white ball, and we know that hydrogen needs just one friend, so let's give the hydrogen one hand to join to other atoms with. If we then start with our lonely carbon atom, we could let it join hands with one hydrogen atom, and then a second, and then a third, and finally a fourth. All the hands are held, so the atoms are all stable. If we then simplify this diagram to being a ball and stick diagram, then remove the letters H and C, the result is this diagram, a diagram of the simplest hydrocarbon. This is clearly made up of four hydrogen atoms and one carbon atom, all bonded together. This has made this diagram, which is a model of methane, the simplest hydrocarbon, which has the formula CH4, the symbols denoting that methane is made of one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. That's amazing! Please do look out for our Geology and a Jiffy films about alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!